I'll give you a little tip for the day. Um, when you're wearing your makeup, you need to get the correct foundation. Once your foundation is correct or the right color, everything else will fall into place. If your foundation is off and it's the wrong color, it's too light, too dark, too orange, too yellow, I don't care what else you put on with it, it's not going to look good. So you need to get the correct foundation. I don't know, some girls at counters are very, very good at makeup, and some of them don't have a clue. So it's trial and error. What I would suggest, and what supposedly what you're supposed to do is stripe your face and then which one blends in is your foundation. I tend to wear a color probably a little lighter than I should, only because that's what I like on me. But I think it still blends with my neck and everything. I don't have that, I, what do they call it, floating head look that your head doesn't match the rest of your body. So, with that being said, you need to find the right foundation. I'm lucky I'm neutral, so I can go with a little more yellow. I, I can go a little cooler. I like myself in something that's a little cooler. I just like the way it looks on me. And that's one of the things you need to do too. If you like the way the foundation looks on you, and everything kind of matches and it looks good and you don't have that line of demarcation and all this, then that's the foundation for you. I would suggest if you're going to a counter or whatever, even online, it's very hard to buy foundations online. Um, get samples. See if the company that you're looking at or whatever has samples and try a sample first before you buy, if you're buying liquid cream, whatever, a $20, $30, $40 bottle of foundation or whatever. So we do have samples of ours and try them out, wear them. If you walk past the mirror and you kind of go, oh yeah, I look pretty good, then that's the foundation for you. And another thing, your skincare might interfere with the foundation. Uh, years and years and years ago, I tried, I wore, you know, of course, the big name, Bare Minerals, and I was lucky. I could do a couple different colors in it, but it made me itch. That's why I stopped using it. I tried different brands, and a few of them oxidized, turned orange on me, and I found out it could, sometimes it's your skincare. Sometimes your skincare can interfere with the foundation and it oxidizes it and changes the color. So that's another thing to add to the mix of trying to find the right color foundation. I like, I like primers. You can talk to 10 different people Get 10 different answers. I happen to like primers. I like silicone primers. And right now I've been using the one we carry. It's not quite as silicone-y as like Smashbox or some of the others or one of them that we did carry. Um, and of course the phone has the ring and it's probably... A crank call or you know those calls and it is annoying isn't it so what I like about primers is to me it gives you a barrier between your skincare and what your and your foundation and it also I think Smooths out, smooths out your skin a little bit. Some of them kind of fill the lines and the patches in, on your skin. But that's my opinion.
That's all I'm going to give you, people, are my opinions. So I think that's, for me, that's what works. I just feel better when I use a primer and then I put my makeup on over it. So go to a counter, get samples, see if they work for you. If you're buying online, see if the company carries samples before you buy Try a few different samples. Stripe your face. See if it blends in with your face, your neck. And, or do half your face. If you happen to find a color that you like, do half your face and see what it looks like to the, part, to the other side of your face where there is no makeup. See if it conceals and covers what you want the foundation to cover. If you have rosacea or you're a little red or you have marks or discoloration, see if the foundation that you like and you want to get covers that for you and makes your skin look the way you want it to. And if it does, then that's the one you should use. So that's a concern. Try a primer. If you buy a few foundations and they all oxidize on you after a while, could be your skin care. So, that's your homework if you're looking for new foundations. Or it gives you something to think about with the ones that you're wearing. So, we'll be back next week and I don't know what we're going to talk about. Because you know me, I usually wing everything. So, have a great day. And thank you for watching, and we'll see you all next week. Bye-bye.